intro's rolling. Okay. Welcome to Karitsu Forum Presents. I'm Adam Henderson, currently COO and Director of International for Karitsu Forum. Happy to have you this evening. We're traveling around the world again today. Our last event we did, we did public venture capital today. We're educating entrepreneurs worldwide is our theme. Uh, many of you know about Karitsu Forum. Karitsu Forum is worldwide. Uh, we have 53 chapters in 26 countries on four continents. And uh, we have over 3,000 accredited investors that are a part of that ecosystem where we fund early and late stage companies. And uh, I'm very excited today. We have a great program. We've brought uh, in uh, two wonderful people who are part of educating entrepreneurs worldwide. I'd like to introduce Bruno Yafaleche. Welcome. Thank you. And I would like to welcome Antonella DeMaio. Welcome. Thanks for inviting us. Uh, welcome. And uh, so let's start with you, uh, Antonella. Um, you have a law firm in Bologna. At yeah. Studio Notarella de Mayo. Yes, um, Studio Notarile de Mayo is a law firm in Bologna. Exactly, it's a civil law notary that is uh, in the lawyer in charge of uh, corporate law and uh, um, real estate. Uh, and I'm very passionate about law and I'm very passionate about technology. That's why I'm here in Silicon Valley. Wonderful, thank you. And your role um, is with TVLP as you provide the legal work and legal services to help the entrepreneurs come over from worldwide into the Silicon Valley and be educated? Yes, so we do uh, entrepreneurship programs for, um, for people, entrepreneurs all over the world. We ha collect applications from 40 countries, 40, and uh, mostly Asia, uh, Korea, China, Brazil, uh, and Australia. And uh, we prepare all the legal stuff, uh, um, all the um, applications, uh, um, the f form, uh, um, uh, faculty contracts, and um, mm, all is needed. Great. So you make sure all the technical details are taken yes. care of so we can, sure. we can get these wonderful entrepreneurs over to the Silicon Valley. And so, Bruno, let's, uh, let's talk about you. And uh, so you're the CEO of TVLP Institute, Silicon Valley. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and then tell us about TVLP Institute, Silicon Valley. Yeah, sure. Uh, when I started my career as a scientist, uh, so I, I worked in a developing sensors to study tumor cell and later to study the cell metabolism. Did it starting in Italy where I was born and then I moved to Germany, to Berlin. And then I moved here. And here I got really excited about venture capital, angel investments and entrepreneurship. So I was able to bridge uh, my knowledge in science with entrepreneurship, so the ability to transform an idea into a product and something that can really change the world. So now with the TVNP Institute, we help entrepreneurs from all over the world to come here to Mellow Park to learn the wonderful mindset of this valley, uh, full of people that are risk takers, that uh, you know, they know about technology, they want to build something new and change the world. And when they, those entrepreneurs are back home, they can share this knowledge and they can create wonderful ventures there. That's, that's wonderful. And as you know, with Karitsu Forum, we share that wonderful mission and interest of educating. Uh, that's a big part of what we do. And we've had the benefit of having your groups come to our Silicon Valley chapter meetings and, and share in the experience uh, with our entrepreneurs and our investors. And when they're coming over here, there's a basket of things that they're learning, right? And you hit on some of them. Tell us how important is the Silicon Valley? And I say the Silicon Valley, it's really the Bay Area, right? We've, you know, whether you're in San Francisco, the East Bay, the South Bay, Silicon Valley, the North Bay, we've, we've adopted a, a culture and a way we go about a business that I see with the ecosystem of entrepreneurs. And tell us what, what uh, the worldwide entrepreneurs who you bring over what do they get out of this? 
Well, we give them a structured program. Uh, we have uh, four different programs for entrepreneurs. If they are uh, a part of a, um, if they are entrepreneurs or small team, and then we have also another program for corporate executives. So those that are employed by a large company, especially from Asia, and they want to get this entrepreneurial mindset to do their job in a better way. So when they come here, it's a structured program. Usually it, it lasts one week. It's a very intense program. Uh, so they have classes, uh, uh, they have laboratories where they apply what they learn in a class, and then they have uh, meetings. Uh, and they meet with a lot of investors like uh, the Carizzo Forum members. Uh, that gives them a really, you know, so they learn the basic in the class and then they learn also from the real life uh, talking to those amazing people. That makes really unique. Uh, I was born in Europe, as I said before, so coming here, I also understood, you know, how powerful is this mindset. Uh, when I talk to people that comes from abroad, they say, wow, Silicon Valley is so, you know, amazing place to be. It's a so different culture. It's very open. You can take a risk. You can build your venture. Everything goes very fast. So people here like to succeed or something that does not work. It's better, you know, to fail fast and move to something else. Uh, so it's so unique that probably for someone living here that was grew up here uh, does not sound like you know so special, but it is special. It's very unique also to compare it to other parts of the U.S. Um, so that's part of the program. Our programs, they want to generate a change in the mindset. And then we have a different programs. We have a program for entrepreneurs that are just starting and they want to understand, you know, it's better that I develop this venture or I develop that venture. So should they solve this problem or should they solve that problem? So helping them to decide and getting started how to attract the first clients how I can you know how I can analyze my market and make sure that there is a market for my project and then we have a second program uh, about raising capital and running a venture and getting to grow and the third program about partnership leadership so running a larger organization and dealing attracting talents and being a good leader so our process uh, we select entrepreneurs they have to apply we select about 12% of the applicants, mm -hmm. so they have to send an application. They go through an application process. We want to make sure that they are very committed to do this, also because coming here it's a challenge. Yes. So they travel from abroad, they stay one week. It's so yeah. intensive program. It's a very emotional program also. Wow, yeah. So people sometimes they, you know, uh, they get tired, yeah. but they are committed because they want to learn. They want to meet meet as many people as they can. So. Going through the process, so we really want to select you know, the best people, best talent, and we want to make sure that when we create a class of people, they can also learn each other. So they have different age or they have a different background. So someone that is more like a business person, another one that is more a scientist, and they can learn each other by staying part of the same program. That That's absolutely fantastic. And uh, I, uh, I think, uh with the groups that have come over that I've seen, um, it's very interesting because when we've introduced them to our process at Karitsu Forum, and they're in the room with the investors and listening to the presentations, and then we've sat in a conference room to the side and explained to them what's gonna go on, what I've loved is they wanna share what they're doing. And I've noticed you've brought over uh, Many of them I actually have companies that are on their way to being prepared to present and raise money and uh, and they're really inspired when they come in. And then I've noticed too, what I love is when they stand up and we ask them to speak, we have much to learn from them, don't we? Uh, we we think we have these great things and I, I think we do, but it's for me, it's very useful to learn culturally from them. Failing fast is one thing, but coping with failing and then how about uh, relaxing and enjoying yeah. and, and that. What, what can we learn from those students who come here? What, what can they teach us? Well, we can learn a lot, especially if they come from, uh, you know, a fast developing countries. So they are facing with the challenges that probably we are not facing anymore. Sometimes when we get some application from uh, Africa, some of our participants, they need to walk for, I don't know how many miles, just for uploading you know, their application. 
they really want to solve big problems uh, yeah. like you know new ways to produce food or new ways to treat the water so we can learn a lot from them and what we really love is that you know they come from so many countries and they come all here so it's a great cultural exchange so we believe that you know with those programs we really connect the world yeah. and they make also some friendship and yeah. then you know they keep meeting uh, when they are abroad so we also want to organize we organize also some uh, uh, reunion events uh, we did it in Europe we did it in China so we give them a chance you know to meet to know people from other programs and uh, they can help each other too and you know what we really love of working with the Carezzo is that you are all over the world also yeah. so they come here they learn about venture capital and then they can connect with one of your chapter in Spain or in, in Turkey and uh, you know they can find uh, some resources there for developing their venture. Well I love that and I agree and having the wonderful opportunity to handle some of the international work for Kuritsu Forum I've been to Japan and Sydney and and uh, we have a wonderful group in Istanbul Turkey our, our Turkish chapter and what's fascinating is that there is a there's a a group of five to ten women who are prolific investors and they're very talented and tremendous skill sets and we always have them come over for our Angel Expo which is coming up April 24th in San Francisco uh, it's actually our investor capital mm -hmm. expo um, and we'd welcome of course you and your team and your guests Thank you. please please come Thank you. Um, and uh, what's wonderful about it is that in the Karitsu Forum ecosystem, we really celebrate women. And uh, we, the, the last expo that we had, Wells Fargo sponsored. It's a wonderful sponsor with us, Wells Fargo. Uh, we had uh, 12 women entrepreneurs who were founders and CEOs of companies in the Karitsu Forum ecosystem. And again, they're from all over the world. And so maybe Antonella, let's, let's talk a little bit about when the process and, and maybe you're now seeing the cross-border ecosystem of entrepreneurs and how do, how do women and the, the, the women in, in Europe and their activities and being young entrepreneurs and uh, the Silicon Valley or the, this area, uh, tell us what you, what you see happening. Uh, we collect uh, quite many uh, applications from we women and we have some scholarships for, for them and uh, uh, we realize that uh, when they come here in Silicon Valley and they, met, and they meet these uh, um, very interesting people, for example at Keret's event, they get very inspired from the culture and uh, all uh, the, the things they, they can see here. So it is very useful for them because they can afford something they can, could not afford with their own you know, resources. So, and that is our contribute to, uh, to a female entrepreneurship. And uh, we are very happy to do that. Well, that's a wonderful mission. And can you tell us a little bit of the technical parts where you handle the process of putting this together as an attorney in Bologna and then spending time in Italy and here and working with the entrepreneurs all over the world. What is the process like for them to uh, get them over here properly and, and, and taken care of? Well, usually when we collect application, uh, there is an uh, um, uh, admission team uh, who uh, takes care of them and they uh, are selected uh, by, there is a commission and they select uh, the best projects. So they go through this uh, admission process and then uh, we send our uh, technical form, they sign and then uh, they're in. It's uh, quite easy to, uh, yeah. Okay, we also publish a lot of articles uh, uh, also to help them, you know, to have some legal framework. Uh, so part of uh, our job, in, in this case, part of her job is uh, studying, you know, the venture capital law here that is so well development, developed and then adapting to the European legal framework. Oh, yeah, that is mm, very interesting to, you know, uh, uh, the legal form about venture capital are so developed here 
and it would be great uh, and, uh, and it's great to you know see how they are structured and to bring uh, uh, you know the, the same stuff uh, in uh, in Europe that where venture capital is less developed yeah do you see um, do you see a trend in development with this cross border education are you seeing the trends change or is there a greater adoption of Mm -hmm. sort of the, the mindset, if you will? Yeah, we're, we're seeing it like really booming, those programs. Uh, you know, entrepreneurship, probably just a few years ago, entrepreneurship was just for, you know, people starting a company. You know, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to quit your job, and then you want to learn something more about entrepreneurship. But now it looks like it's interesting for everyone. You know, a lot of our participants, uh, after joining the program, they don't start a company right away. They may decide to come back to find, you know, a regular job, and then after a couple of years, they start their company, or they start a company. Then I don't know, they get to sell it, and then they move to a regular job like an employee. So there is a lot of those, you know, cross contamination. Yeah. It sounds like entrepreneurship is really becoming, uh, you know, a cool thing, attracting uh, all the people that they give him them a kind of additional skills to do a better, to be a better, uh, to do their job in a better way. And also, you know, all over the world, also in Asia, in Asia, I think usually they, they, they want to acquire some skills as leaders. It's a different culture compared to the US or Europe. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, they are very interested about entrepreneurship. So we have some corporate clients from Asia, uh, big companies that they want to, you know, give a chance to their employee to start thinking in a different way. So instead of having a structure, you know, top down, yeah. very vertical, yeah. to have a more horizontal structure where everybody can say, you know, look, I have an idea. Can I develop this new product? I think it can be, you know, can really make an effort on the company. You know, we have so many examples here of a product that started in this way. Right. Like Gmail started Google from some of you know, their employees that was not a project coming from top down, but was the opposite. That's great. Is, it, is that maybe one of the real eye-opening education things, flatter organizations, yeah. participation from the, the bottom up because ideas come from everywhere, right? Yeah, it comes from everywhere. And you know, a big word now is a digital transformation. So companies, they want to start thinking in a digital way. They want to use a technology, AI, VR inside the company. And that's meant it's not only for you know, building a new product, but also for a new way to do marketing, a new way to engage the clients. So they really want to come here, especially the large companies. They want to see you know, innovation trends and how those can have an impact, you know, on their business in the near future. Well, that's fantastic. And uh, so, and and when when you're uh, sorting through the applications of the entrepreneurs that would like to come over, what are some of the thing? What are some of the questions that 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 are on there that tell you that these are the these are the people we would choose to bring over. What, what can you share with us? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, sometimes we make a comments. So we say that they all look similar. <laughs> yeah. You know, they want to really get something. They are so much committed. That is probably the common things. And also, when they come here, they want to meet as many people they can. They don't want to sleep. They want to. You know, they see that that's their opportunity and they want to really get it. Oh, that's fantastic. That's probably this commitment is yeah. so common between them. Wow. That, that's, I mean, that's inspiring, isn't it? Yeah. And, um, and I've noticed that when your, your, your groups come, they're, uh, they're just ready. They're open and ready and willing. Yeah. And it, it's just, it's absolutely spectacular. How, how can, we help too. Um, we have a we have a large ecosystem. All of our members are uh, formerly of corporations. They've sold companies, built companies. We have a wonderful ecosystem of people, and we tell our entrepreneurs this all the time. We're not just a source of capital, but we're a source of resources. As it's not just money that's going to make these companies yeah. go. It's the edu It's all the other learning that the connections to things, the help. Uh, how, how, how can Karitsu Forum help you and help even accelerate the education that you're providing? 
Yeah, well, we see that as uh, smart money, or as you said, it's not only about money. It's about you know knowledge about the different market that you have. You have a presence in so many countries that you can really help our entrepreneurs to understand. You know, doesn't make sense that uh, you know I bring my product to that country. How can I adjust my product to be successful with that specific culture? So this is a lot. So helping them, you know, to learn about the market to sell their product, to create some distributor, distribution channels. That is a great help. And something else also, helping them to, you know, to bridge the capital. So if they come from some countries, like in Europe, in Europe probably it is quite easy to find a couple of millions investment, but then when you need to get a more larger round, you need to come here to the US. So having a network like the Corizzo can give them the reputation to raise some money in their country, and then having someone helping them to come here or to raise money in different countries where you are. So that's, that's the big value that uh, we see. Fantastic. Well, we're, we're inspired by you too. And um, it's been, we've begun to have the discussions about how we can make this happen and create even a larger network um, and connect really the globe with our chapter network with how, what you do to educate entrepreneurs and share, share, our, share our, our, our wonderful people in our network. And uh, we've certainly um, are inspired to connect all the people with other, they don't just need to come to Silicon Valley. We're seeing some spectacular things oh, happening yeah. all over the world. And, and we can send uh, your Italian contingent to our Sydney, Australia yeah. chapter and they're wonderful people there and, and have a, a, an exchange that uh, would inspire and, and, and help, help them develop uh, the companies that they would like to come to. We're very excited about it. And, you know, what's, what's interesting, and maybe you found this too, as I've traveled around the world and working with the chapters, uh, what's fascinating is even now we have our trade war with China. Well... We are as busy as ever in our ecosystem, mm -hmm. the entrepreneurial ecosystem, with China. Uh, we have wonderful people. We call them boots on the ground. Uh, we have physical chapters, not just uh, technological chapters, but we have people there and great people. And uh, nobody thinks about the politics of things. Yeah. And have you found that too, that, the, that this system and entrepreneurs and this system we're in, it, it transcends politics. Do you, would you agree? Yeah, we see that, yeah. So we believe that it's also a way, you know, culture can bridge any kind of, uh, you know, war and conflict. Yeah. And entrepreneurship can you know, really connect the people. So we love to see, you know, our participants coming from different countries, staying together. Sometimes uh, we rent a house for them, so they stay all together when they are here. So they develop also, they become friends. So and they never, you know, also the cultural difference, they completely disappear. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, that's wonderful. And uh, uh, I, I think we talked about this. So the joy of this, and, and we'll be working together, uh, but to export the entrepreneurial spirit worldwide, how, how lucky are we to be able to be a part of that and and grow that and be inspired ourselves by the possibilities that uh, and the hard work you know of these entrepreneurs and uh, we're at the last few minutes of the show and so I'd like to well maybe we'll start with you Antonella we're what 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 can we do to help you and and uh, uh, what would be your closing thoughts on educating entrepreneurs worldwide? Well, uh, I like uh, uh, seeing people uh, uh, get inspired by the uh, Carrezzo Forum and uh, uh, all the meetings uh, and the people uh, and the culture they are exposed in Silicon Valley. So that is the secret, our secret. That's wonderful. Thank you. Bruno? But, you know, I consider myself like a citizen of the world, so I, I traveled a lot, and I, I also spent time in, in the different countries. So 
If you ask me where is my home, I don't know. I travel, so I believe that my home is here, my home is Europe, my home might be in Asia. Uh, so I think that, uh, you know, I like to think that we are all connected, all together, and we have to build more, uh, you know, opportunities like this, to having people traveling, meeting others, uh, and stay all together in a nice way. I believe that's very important. Well, that's wonderful. and. Uh we're looking forward to spending more time together and making sure that we support you in what you're doing. And uh, so it's TVLP, Institute Silicon Valley, and we haven't defined TVLP. So let's let you do that before we go. Oh, yeah, sure. So we started with just one program at the beginning. So the name was a Technology Venture Launch Program. And then we had the second program, the third program, and we said, well, we create more an institute. So instead, that was like keeping you know, the original name and turning into TVLP Institute to share the ideas that we have a different program for everybody, for individuals and team, and for large corporates. And we love to work in the different countries and having people applying to our program for all over the places. Uh, we have the next programs now in, uh, in May, then we have in July, so we have regular programs and we would love to see, you know, a lot of people joining us and meeting with others, uh, you know, traveling from abroad. That's wonderful. And uh, in closing, we have our Karitsu Forum Investor Capital Expo this oh. April 24th. We have a wonderful event on the 23rd where we bring an international chapters in and we're fortunate to have Wells Fargo hosting us at the top of their mm -hmm. headquarters building. And uh, we would welcome you and your team you. to be a part of that with us. And in fact, uh, we need to share more your mission. And uh, why don't we plan to spend some time incorporating that into the event? Sure. And uh, we look forward to advancing our Karitsu Education Academy along with TVLP Institute, Silicon Valley. And you guys have been wonderful guests and we so appreciate you being here. Thank you for your thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. And thank all of you for being a part of Kritsu Forum Presents. And we look forward to seeing you on our next program.